Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of custom checkout steps for the Vision to do platform and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the customers would be able to view the created checkout steps along with the options that have been added by the store admin and uh, lastly we'll be showing you how the admin would be able to create the multiple checkout steps uh, for the default Vision to do checkout and how the admin would be able to manage the checkout steps as well. So before we proceed further, let me give a small gist about this particular plugin. So basically this plugin allows the store admin to extend the default Magento checkout process wherein the store owner can add multiple checkout steps with various custom options so as to get more information regarding the order and uh, from the customer basically and before uh, the customer places the respective order. So the admin can create multiple checkouts uh, multiple checkout steps can create a form using the custom options make the form options as mandatory enable or disable the checkout steps and the admin can also set up the checkout step uh, sorting for each of the created checkout steps uh, that the admin has already created so well, let's get ahead and let's see how this particular plugin works at the web server front end first and then I'll be showing you how we can uh, create uh, the multiple steps from the admin backend panel. So right now I'm at the uh, Amazon to do web store. So uh, I'll be entering my email and password so as to log into my customer account first. So I've entered my email and password. So I'll be tapping in the sign in button. So I've logged into my account panel and now what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, adding some uh, products into my cart and thereafter I'll be making uh, a checkout. So uh, let me add a small size and a purple color for this particular product. And let's add a medium and a red color for this one. So currently I've added two products and uh, before that I had already two more products. So now what I'll do is I'll tap to uh, proceed to checkout now. And here I am at the uh, checkout page right now. So first of all, uh, the customer needs to select the shipping address and the shipping method and thereafter you can see where here we are having a custom message as a second step then a gift wrapper as a third step and lastly we have the review and payments so the shipping in the review and payments are the default ones and the second and the third points that we have added or the steps that we have added are the custom uh, options that we have added from the admin backend so as to extend this particular uh, checkout process for the default Magento 2 web store. So I've selected my address, my shipping method. Now let me tap the next button. So here we can see, uh, here we can see that uh, we have a custom message. So we can type in the message uh, for this particular order. And we've also created one option that is, is this particular order or the product a gift for a friend? whether it's a yes or a no so let me type in the message first so i've entered a message and i'll choose the option that is gift to a friend yes it's a it's for a friend now i'll tap the next button so now we come to the other step that we have added and uh, here we have set up the option for uh, uh, entering the color of the gift paper so I'll enter green as the wrapper so I've chosen the uh, color for this particular uh, uh, gift item now I'll tap the next and lastly we are now on the review and payment section and here I'll be placing the order now So I've placed the order. So uh, let me show you the details. So here are the four uh, products that I had uh, just ordered and they were as gift items and I've chosen uh, the color of the gift uh, wrap as well. So we had uh, added two more steps to the default Magento checkout process. So now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how the admin can manage the same from the backend. So here I'm at the Magento 2 web store backend. So I'll be logging in as the admin of the web store. So after you successfully install this particular plugin, 
uh, that's the magento 2 custom checkout steps plugin you'll find the custom checkout steps menu option on the left hand side panel of the admin as here so i'll tap that up and here we have two sub options one is to create the checkout steps and the other one is to manage the checkout steps so let's go to the create checkout steps section now here what we can do is uh, here we can create the custom steps we can set the uh, step uh, title here that would be visible to the customer and we can uh, choose the sort order for the step order so here uh, to create a new create uh, to cr create a new custom step we have to fill in two different informations one is for the step detail uh, that would be to enable the status the other one would be to uh, set the step title and the step uh, order so the step order is the sort order for the particular step that we are creating and after that we can choose custom options and we can add the options that we want to add to that particular uh, checkout step that we are going to create so uh, to add the options for the custom option for that particular checkout step we can tap the add option button and here we can add the option title and we can choose the option type uh, from these uh, various fields as you can see here so we have the text select options and the date options so we can add a field area a drop down option radio buttons for example if i choose the drop down then i can add the values for the drop down options here we also have the option to make these options uh, on the uh, checkout step as a mandatory uh, option or not so if we uncheck this particular required option then the customer can skip that particular checkout page without entering the particular uh, option that you're going to enter and uh, we have other options as well uh, so we have the date and time radio buttons check uh, boxes and multi select as well so after uh, entering all these information here you can tap the save steps uh, button on the top right hand corner and after the step has been saved you can check the step under the manage custom uh, option so uh, here under the manage checkout steps you'll find all of the uh, checkout steps that you have created so right now uh, under this section you can delete enable or disable any of the created uh, uh, checkout steps you can also check the uh, status column uh, for each of the steps that you have created whether it's uh, disabled or enabled so right now we have enabled the grift wrapper and the custom message so let me edit these two options to show you actually uh, how we have filled in the information for these two uh, checkout steps so while placing the order i've shown you after uh, selecting the shipping and the shipping method there were two steps whether this is a gift and to enter a message uh, a checkbox was there and uh, lastly we had one more step the third one that uh, wherein we uh, entered the color of the gift wrap so uh, here is the created uh, custom step so we had entered the step details by uh, enabling the status for that particular step we set up the step title as gift wrapper uh, let me take you back to the front end now uh, and uh, let me tie reorder this particular order once again let me proceed to the checkout and so here is the custom message the second step and the grift wrapper as the third step so uh, the grift wrapper we have set up the sort order for the particular step as 14 and under the custom options uh, we have set up the option title as color of the gift paper and the option is as a uh, area and we have set it as required so uh, let me go back uh, to the section let me choose this option so here we have set up uh, the custom message so uh, here is the uh, step for the custom message basically we have set up the setup uh, the sort order and under the custom options we have uh, uh, created an option write your message and the option type is area and it is a required one then we have again added one more uh, checkbox here uh, and the option title is gift to friend so let me show you that write your message then we have gift to friend yes it's for a friend no it's for a friend and let me take you back so it's uh, the title yes it's for a friend no it's not for a friend it's for me so this is how we can add these steps by entering the name, the sort order, enabling it, 
and adding the custom options from the uh, available option types like like the text the select options and the date so uh, the last step that we had uh, was the color uh, of uh, the uh, what we say as the gift wrapper so after tapping the next here you can see the title color of gift paper and the text area and here is the custom set that we had uh, created step title is gift wrapper step order and on the custom options we have added the color of the gift paper option type as area we can choose per our requirement and it's a required one so that's how the admin of the uh, Magento 2 web store can now add uh, the custom checkout steps as per his requirement uh, so as to gather more information from the customers and how uh, the uh, custom options can be used to create the forms and uh, make the options as uh, uh, mandatory so as to proceed further and uh, I hope that this particular video helped you out and uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.